We're thrilled about the, the factory here in Charlottesville, the attitude of the people. They're so excited about what they do. They're there every day trying to make it better. Being designated one of nine brilliant factories of GE made me feel good because Charlottesville is a very small place on the map. It made me want to strive and help the company to go even further. It's nothing like being number one. Automation and controls for us is part of the whole idea of the industrial internet and also the intersection of the industrial internet with the Brilliant Factory. GE is on this very big initiative to create Brilliant Factories. So traditionally, companies are, are very much siloed. You have engineering, you have sourcing, supply chain, then you have shipping and logistics, and then the end user. Brilliant Factory is really trying to mesh everything together. Right? How do we break down those silos? How do we break down those walls? Connect engineering to manufacturing. Connect manufacturing to logistics. And connect logistics to the customer. Right, so therefore we have the information flowing through the entire value chain. The flow it has become very um, you know, efficient, which in the past it was just was from area to another area, and it was a lot of tracking and waste. This is where the industry is going. We talk about the, uh, the industrial internet, we talk about the digital industrial, you know, you hear the terminology industry 4.0, information is in the cloud that can, then can be used to improve outcomes. That whole connected enterprise is where the world's going. We're doing that here at GE and, and others uh, can benefit from working with GE to do that themselves. We have to be ready to accept change. We like information now. We don't want to wait. Where we were before, our 40 day lead time is not acceptable. It was like versus like we had 40 days uh, delivery time of getting the work out to customers. Now we can get that within an hour. When you think of gears, right, you start off with this gear and then you push another gear. This gear is our lean foundation. Without having a good lean foundation, we start digitizing tools and items that don't help us progress in the future. The Brilliant Factory Initiative is really how do we combine the lean and the digital tools together uh, to allow us to be add better value to our customers. The most important lean tool is your brain, and it's about turning on the intellect of all your folks in a very organized way. You know, when you create an organization of, in our case, 350 problem solvers, it's really a powerful equation. For our employees, it just makes it an exciting place to work, and you can feel that when you go in the factory and spend time with the team. You know, they're just excited about what they do every day. They're excited to find new ways to improve, new ways to do better. All that excitement then translates itself for our customers. We get to go to the shop floor and really see what the teams have been doing. We get to ask the questions. Uh, we follow standard work while we're walking on the floor. We are able to go to 18 shop floor locations in 25 minutes, and at the end of it, have a fruitful conversation about what we're going to do to fix the problems that we had. Yeah, so the Brilliant Factory, in terms of what it provides for our customers, one is cycle time. You know, we're able to perform uh, from the time we get an order to the time we deliver that order to the customer, reduce that time. It's all about serving customers, right? It, it's the reason we're here. Quality, speed, cost perspective, so it's win-win. You have a certain amount of time within the day that you can produce, but your customers want a certain amount of product. You need to figure out how to build that within that time frame. The overall delivery is what your customers expect. They expect to get their product when they want it. The transformation never ends, right? It's a journey. There's only better. There's no end point. It's about creating the fastest, most flexible factory on the face of the earth. Our competitors aren't standing still. The closer you are to the customer, the more important you are to the business, right? So by that definition, our operators on the floor are the last ones to touch the product before it goes to the customer. This team only knows how to win, so when we talked about changing and, and getting faster and more flexible for customers, everyone was immediately in. It just makes you just feel good to come to work and just be one big team. We make the products that make machines brilliant. When you think about the, the closed loop control between the cloud to the edge to the asset, that piece in the edge, that piece at the asset that does the thinking or the decision making, the control loop, that's the part that makes the machine brilliant and that's what we bring to our customers every day.